could it be now? Oink, oink, oink. Uh-oh. Mm. Are pigs good eating? <laughs> Dang. Oh, my children don't try to eat me if I ever turn into a pig. That's not good. <laughs> Oh, no, it ain't. Oh. <laughs> Hi, you guys, and welcome to the Shan Caravan. In today's video, we're back with more Paper Mario and Thousand Year Door. Uh, we got rejected by a pipe, so we're uh, <laughs> back here. <laughs> Professor, we found the pipe that leads to Twilight Town, but it totally didn't work. It just pushes you right back out. We can't get through. What? You can't get through the pipe, you say? How odd. Hmm. I'm afraid I haven't the foggiest idea of what you should do. Well, that was helpful. <laughs> oh, of course. I've heard that a fellow from Twilight Town lives here in Rugport. If anybody knows how to get through the pipe, it'll be him. His name was, uh, dang, what was it? Uh, ah, yes, a lover of dark places, Darkly. I've seen him loitering right here in this part of town in the past. Look for Darkly. All righty. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about the name Darkly. Oh. <laughs> Pull another card trick today and make tons of loot. Somebody started telling on me, so I came here to hide out for a while. Don't tell anyone you saw me here, or I'll kick you. <laughs> I love how, like, innocent that is, and also not innocent. It's like, I'll kick you. I'm like, all right, I'll just beat you up. Like, <laughs> I'm assuming this is Darkly. Hi there, name's Darkly. Do you guys need something? Huh? You want to know how to get through the pipe to Twilight Town? Couldn't be easier. You just need to have something that has your name written on it. Don't you have anything that has your name written on it? Come on, everyone does. Nope. No? Really? Okay. Hang on. I'll write it for you. What's your name? Mario, huh? Okay. I'll write it here on the seat of your overalls. M-A-R-I-O, right? I don't know how I feel about you writing on my butt, but okay. <laughs> There, perfect Amundo. While I'm at it, I'll write your partner's name too. What's your partner's name? Goombella. <laughs> that tickles. She liked that a little too much. Okay, Goombella, we're gonna have to watch out for this one. I don't know what Aaron's taking you to Twilight Town, but hope it goes well. I'll be rooting for you. Such a kind guy. That's why I love like. A star piece. I don't know where I'm going. I'm about to get lost. Okay. <laughs> but, um, one thing I've always loved about, like, most alternative people are people who like wearing dark colors and, you know, things of that nature. Goths. The variety. So they're usually, like, the nicest people. <laughs> so helpful. Kind. They're just scary looking to people who don't dress that way for whatever reason. Uh, reminds me of a meme I saw where it was like how they portray bullies in movies and stuff and who the real bullies are. And it's like the preppy kid is usually the bully, not the mohawked out, you know, emo kid or punk kid. They're usually the ones that are just like, leave me alone. Like, I'm already sad. <laughs> <laughs> just trying to make it through life, like, let's just chill, bruh. Meanwhile, Chad's the one that's like, <laughs> I'm done. I'm done with my little rant. <laughs> because it's time for our next chapter. Chapter four. For pigs, <laughs> the bell tolls. Hey. I'm like indifferent about this chapter. I like it, but it's not my favorite. It's probably like my second least favorite behind, um, or I guess in front of uh, the tree. Bogley Woods is my least favorite. This is like next in line from that. <laughs> wow. Is it Twilight already? Oh wait, I know what's up. I, this must be Twilight Town. Hey. It's been a long time since anyone's come from outside. You've come from far away. Yeah, those clothes of yours, I'm pretty sure you guys must be adventurers, right? You must be the hero. <laughs> Goodness. This is a bad time to arrive. Wait. 
But you're adventurers. Maybe it's the perfect time. Whoa, 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 creepy. What the heck do you mean a bad time? Oh, jeez whiz. I, I don't know. It's a scary tale to hear and scary to tell, too. Ding dong. <laughs> oh, no. The bell rang again. Oh, this is so awful. Who could it be now? <gasps> oink, oink, oink. What? What? Oh my, what's going on? Well, oh badness. Now poor Freddy got turned into a pig. Not good. Okay, I was hoping it was this guy. <laughs> hey, who are you? I'm the mayor of this poor town. Some call me Dwar. Not exactly the sharpest fellow, but I do believe you're adventurers, right? Is it the missing stuffing out of your head? <laughs> this isn't the place for the telling of tales, sadly. Come, come to my house. Yep. <laughs> so spooky. It's giving me like uh, Luigi's Mansion vibes. Oh, I gotta play that on the channel at some point. I'm trying to find my Luigi's Mansion like game because I had it between me and my brother. One of us has it, but I don't know who. I haven't been able to find it. He hasn't been able to find it. So I might have to purchase it from like a retro store or something. Because I have the third game, the newest one for the Switch, but I don't want to play that first and then go back to the GameCube version. So I don't know. I might just have to do them out of order because it's going to be a little difficult trying to get my hands on that game. <sighs> Traveling friends, welcome to Twilight Town. Well, I'd like to welcome you, but welcoming people is generally a good thing and it's nothing but bad here. As you may have guessed, our town has been cursed. Cursed? Yes, cursed. That is the right word. Yes, of course it is. You see, beyond town is a forest, and in the heart of it, an ancient building, the Creepy Steeple. People, cr <laughs> the dark creature who lives there, its curse ordains that when the steeple bell rings, one of the twilighters living here in the village becomes a pig. Will my loved ones become swine? Will I too become a curly-tailed oinker? I'm so worried I can't sleep at night. Of course, n night and day are pretty similar here. If this keeps up well, the village will be one giant pig pen, which would be bad. Let me give you some advice. Leave us. Leave before you two get pigified. It's like I'm trying to take this serious, but it's just the funniest style. <laughs> we can't do that, Mr. Mayor. We're hunting for something. Have you ever heard of a crystal star? A star-shaped rock that's all glittery? Hmm, I don't know about any crystal star thing, but in Creepy Steeple, there's a glittery red stone shaped like a star. For real? That totally must be the crystal star. Uh, you people, you aren't thinking of going to Creepy Steeple, are you? <laughs> unthinkable. We are adventurers. Bye, bud. Well, off to Creepy Steeple we go. After we save. There's a lot of pigs here. Uh, this, this curse has been going on for a minute, hasn't it? <laughs> it's the three traveling girls, but they're, uh, they're... Uh, smite poink, boink, cry oink. <laughs> they're piggy pigs. Also, I, I love these guys. <laughs> it's the mama and her babies. I haven't been able to buy food for my children since my husband turned into a pig. Now they're all so hungry. What should I do? Mommy, I'm hungry. Food, please. Kind traveler, if you have some spare food, could you share it with us? Of course. Ah, uh, gosh, a super shroom. I did say I'd help you. Well, thank you so much. You've made my children very happy. And me as well. It's not much, but please take this as thanks. Hex, yeah! Oh, and kind traveler, why do you hail? Uh oh. Mm. Oh no! Moink, moink! Hey, fix my mommy! Mommy, you're a piggy! Hey, are pigs good eating? <laughs> Dang! Oh, my children don't try to eat me if I ever turn into a pig. That was a real quick uh, chain of events just to be like, 
Eh. <laughs> Mom's a pig now. So she can't feed us. Or can she? <laughs> oh dear. Oh, a customer. I'm sorry, we're not open right now. <laughs> huh? Why am I crying? My husband's been turned into a pig. A pig? My husband went to the woods yesterday to collect herbs. But no husband came home. Instead, a pig returned. This pig. We got in a fight before he left and I called him a chauvinist pig. And now he really is a pig. But he has a sweet side too, cooking my favorite food on my birthday and then when shoppers get room, my husband asked for food. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he fell asleep. My God. <laughs> Moral of the story, no one's perfect, but I do actually want to hear what she said. I'll give Cliff notes. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's so long. Okay. Sweet side two, like cooking my favorite food on my birthday. When shoppers get rude, he escorts them out. Such a manly way, you know? He's got so many wonderful things going for him. Wish he wouldn't dip into the till for cola money, but boys will be boys, you know, and I could really do without him drying his underwear on the radiator, you know, and no matter how often I tell him, he drinks milk from the carton, you know, I don't think it'd be tough for him to change his socks once in a while, but I have my faults too, like maybe I shouldn't have been so hard on him all the time, I should have told him how I felt about when I could, oh, how could he leave me and turn into a pig like this? It sounds like the issues most married couples go through. <laughs> we all have our faults. No one's perfect, but you stay together because you love each other. <laughs> That's my marriage advice for the day. <laughs> yeah, so, um, are you even listening? Not really. I'm trying to follow you, but dang. So, hey, could you figure some way to restore my husband to Norm? I'll do whatever I can to help. You can even take anything in the storeroom that might help you, you know? Oh, okay. I ain't mad at that. Poor thing. I'd be pretty upset if my husband turned into a pig, too. <laughs> Goodness. Nasty monster lives in the woods past here. I'm serious. That's what somebody said. If you still want to go through even after hearing that, you need the mayor's permission. We've heard that one before. Nasty monster, please. Well, whatever, gate guy. Let's go ask Mario. Back we go. Yeah, uh oh For whom the bell tolls. Oh, the bell rang, Mario. That means someone's gonna... <sighs> At least it's not me this time. Dang, Goombella. Jesus. I could pretend that you care about these people. That's not good. <laughs> hey, you don't think this pig is the mayor, do you? What do we do now, huh? We can't get his permission to pass through the gate. We can get an oink of approval. Oinky oinky. <laughs> well, I become an oinker. <laughs> yeah, he became an oinker, all right. <laughs> I could not. There goes again. Dang, these bells are quick, aren't they? Oh, no, it ain't. Oh. <laughs> huh? The gatekeeper's gone. Not, not gone. He turned into a pig. Well, not to be insensitive, but that works out for us. We can just cruise through. Sorry, bruh. Boink, boink. I wonder if they have any memory of what's going on when they're pigs. Oh. Key. And a box. I always thought that this little hill thing going on the side looked like an audience, like we're on a stage. Like their little silhouettes of heads. <gasps> I haven't been hitting trees, bruh. About to hit these Goombas, though. <laughs> Seriously? Can never get a first strike. But I can get a tattle. Yeah. That's a hyper Goomba, which means um it's a hyperactive Goomba, duh. <laughs> Max HP is eight, attack is two. 
But if this nut goes bizow and charges up, his attack power will be an eight next turn. So you better wipe it out between the time it charges up and the time it attacks. And if you can't beat him, then run away, okay? Yeah, that's pretty bad. Uh, if I do six and she hits it, I'm like, I don't think that's enough. Uh, let's just start off heavy with our Earth Trimmer. <laughs> for like these regular schmegular enemies, let's just go for it. Oh, come on, I was doing so good. <laughs> I was like, will this be the one? But I didn't want to say it out loud and jinx myself, but... All right. All right, okay. They didn't all charge up, good. Okay, we just gotta kill two in this next turn. I think her multi-bonk would be enough to get them out. Okay, good. Woo, just enough. What is it? I don't know, but it hurt me. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, I really hope that uh, this hits. Okay, I hope that his hit doesn't hit. Thank God. Whew. Okay. Uh... Dun, dun, dun. Hopefully this hits. Nope. And of course it didn't. Can the fog go away now? Thank you. I'm not trying to risk this right now. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> nice noise. Give me my coin. Thank <laughs> you.